Hello everybody! Well, here we are with the last fight, the final fight, the fight for first place for the Mount Hua competition for the Blue Dragon server for September 2015. And we have Call Me King of the Wudong, will be facing off against Xu Xilin of the Yimi. Now these two are in the same guild, and normally that means it's not going to be a very serious fight, but these two, I understand, will actually go at it. They both want the sword, so we should have a good fight on our hands here. That's always nice. Make the last fight a good one. And so we are fighting. Call me King. I'm expecting some join finger out of him. Uh, looks like we're getting a little bit of lag there. And some hundred transformations out of Call me King, which is a little bit of a surprise. He's getting some good hits in there. Not a whole lot of damage, but definitely controlling. Shushalin has plucked the peacock's plume. And because she is an Emi, I'm expecting a little bit of Jade Maiden Sword, maybe some Nine Palaces Sword, but nothing as of yet. It's all Call Me King and his joint finger now has Shushilin down to 75%. Continuing with his barrage, Shushilin coming back now with the nine, uh, seven skills of the Flower Goddess, but not for long. More J uh, joint finger out of Call Me King. Shushalin is trying to come back with some Tai Chi fish. He opens the Tai Chi and it manages to catch Call Me King. That's Tai Chi fist, not Tai Chi fish. Call Me King gets out of it though and continues with his joint finger skill. Gets a couple good hits in there and a stun and will continue on here. Shushalin is down below 50%. She really needs to pick us now if she's going to recover. She plucks the Peacock's Plume and is just biding her time. Call Me King is just waiting for that to run out and he's in again trying to get the stun. More of the Tai Chi Fist that looks like out of Shushilin, but there's another stun. Call Me King comes in with more Join Finger, capitalizing on that. Shushilin is trying to get the opening to Tai Chi to land again. It does. This will have Call Me King will he be able to get out of the effects at this time. He does, but it does take its toll. He's down to a third health, continues with the Join Finger skill, gets the stun, continues with the combination. Shushilin is quickly approaching 50% again. This is getting very close. Joint finger versus seven skills. And it looks like it's not going to be very much of a range fight because neither of them are willing to engage there. Trying to change it up. Shushilin is trying to keep her distance. Call Me King is trying to get in there to make things happen. And he gets the stun. Continues with the joint finger skill. Looks like he didn't realize he got the stun there for a second. But he continues with, with joint finger. But there goes the seven skills of the goddess from Shushilin. Has Call Me King down to 50%. Shushilin, though, is below 50%. She really has to be careful here. Another stun. And more Join Finger out of Call Me King. He's definitely getting those stuns to land. There goes the Rage, but I tricked the enemy and a Traceless Snow out of Shushilin. That Snow Sword is dealing some pretty good damage very quickly against Call Me King. It got her out of what was surely defeat there from the Rage. She is down below 5,000 points of health. Another stun, though. Call Me King does not have enough for a Rage, but it may not matter. Less than 3,000 for Shushilin, less than 1,000. There goes more Join Finger. And that's it. Looks like the last move was a stun, but it was enough to defeat her, so that's it. She was trying to get that Nine Palaces of Sword going against him, but barely had a chance to do anything there. So Call Me King takes the first round with some very nice joint finger skill, getting lots of stuns. That's very nice to see when someone uses quite a bit of skill with the joint finger skill instead of uh, just spamming the attacks and the rage. So nice, nicely done there. Let's see if Shushilin can come up with something to counteract that, though, in the next round. A little bit of circling on her part. I think she's pumped up, ready to go, excited to get started. So we are starting in 3, 2, 1, and we're fighting. And straight away, it is some distance and Buddha Heart Palm out of Shushilin. Call Me King is closing the distance, although slowly. He's in with Ancient Dog Beating Staff. And getting some good hits in there, going to give her the whole combination. Not dealing a ton of damage, but enough to make it a problem. Nine Palace of Sword coming out of Shushalin. She's getting the big hits in there. Has Call Me King down to 75%, but he gets the stun and joint finger follow-up. Will inflict, but she's back in with the Nine Palace of Sword. And she is pulling ahead as far as damage done. She is up to 11,000 versus 7,000. But that can change very quickly. That's not a big difference but there goes the rage and the nine palace of sword looks like call me king did not block any of that he's down to 50 percent, but he gets the stun and will continue with the joint finger attack but 
Shushalin is in now. More Nine Palaces, more Joint Finger. They are trading back and forth, and it really looks like it's going in Shushalin's favor. Kami King is down to a third health and continuing to fall. There's the parry break, but some Joint Finger out of Kami King. Another parry break, and the Rage. Is this it for Kami King? He is getting very close, and he's down. 33,000 versus 15,000 points. Shushalin was on fire with that last round there. That was awesome. She managed to get some good long combinations in there with tons of damage and really outdanced Kami King when it came to that joint finger and those stuns. He was, wasn't able to get any of those going really well. So let's see if she can repeat that again or is Kami King going to be too wily for her to succeed? This is uh, really down to the wire here. I don't know who's going to win. My guess would be that Kami King is favored a little bit because he does have Joint Finger and has proved to be very devastating when you can get an unblocked Rage in there. You can completely turn around the match, but Su Lin is not to be counted out. She is playing splendidly at this point. Ancient Dog Beating Staff coming out of Kami King. He gets a few hits in there. Nine Palace of Sword out of Su Lin, sticking with what works. And a little bit of damage on both sides, but nobody is really pulling ahead. Kami King is getting a good combination there, though, with the Dog Beating Staff. Pulling out a little bit. Shushalin coming back with a Nine Palace of Sword and is catching up very quickly. Another flip there, though. And Kami King continues with the Dog Beating Staff Age Manual combination. Get some more hits in there. Shushalin, though, gets the knockdown with the Nine Palace of Sword and is going to continue with that combo and the Rage. Kami King got his block up, but is still going to inflict some damage. He is down to 50%. Shushalin is quickly, quickly approaching 50% as well. As Kami King switches to join Finger and starts picking at her from long range. Both of them have Pegasus? No, I don't believe... No, they have. So their health is back up, but they are quickly approaching 50% again. Shushalin has switched to Jade Maiden's sword. She's touched the oyster and it didn't help her too much because she was stunned. Kami King is coming back still with that join Finger skill. Another quick attack there. Buddha Heart Palm out of Shushilin. Join Finger out of Kami King. Shushilin is at a third health. She'll need the Pegasus pretty soon if she's going to stay in the match. There is the Touching the Oyster from the Jade Maiden Sword out of Kami King and his copy skill. A nice stun there. The follow up with the Join Finger skill. Shushilin keeps her distance. Buddha Heart Palm tries to recover a little bit of health and she is in with the Snow Sword. Gets a nice hit in there. Plucks the Peacock's Plume. Kami King hits her with the stun. Will heal her very slightly but manages to break off in time. Hits her with some more Joint Finger though after the time is up. He <laughs> does hit her, her again with that Jade Maiden Sword skill. But Shushalin has switched up to Dragon Slap. But gets a stun for her effort. She managed to Pegasus there while all that was going on. So she's back up to 75% health. Kami King is just below 50%. He doesn't have to worry too much. But there goes the bitter cold sharp, sharp frost as well of the snow sword. And Shushilin is controlling with this. She is managing to keep Kami King down. He Pegasuses and circles the moon. But he's not able to counter attack here at all. Sushilin is sitting on a lot of rage as well. She is stunned though. There goes the rage at a Kami King, but a trick the enemy and Shattered Ice shuts that down. Kami King does not get his advantage. He continues with the Joint Finger. There goes the Snow Sword as well. I would guess that the Snow Sword is doing almost as much damage as the Joint Finger, if not more. That is pretty even. Kami King is now down to 50% in the face of that bitter cold. Sushilin plucks and gets a moment of respite. But Kami King is in there again, trying to get that Join Finger to land another Rage. Shushaling is going to take all of this. Brings her down below 50%. More Join Finger as she flies away. Kami King is trying to close the distance, but keep his distance. And pick her off with that Join Finger skill. The more Buddha Heart Palm, though, coming out of Shushalin. She gets a few hits in there, but Shushalin is now down below 6,000 points of health. She really needs something to get going here if she's going to stay in this. She plucks the Peacock's Plume again, down below 5,000. Now gets the knockdown, opens the Tai Chi. Kami King is at 5,000, 6,000 points. He is healing and taking damage at the same time. And he's down! It looks like his internal got him out of that opening the Tai Chi, but he did not have enough health to survive it. Wow, that is what you call a turnaround. It almost seemed certain at the very end there that Kami King was going to take the match, but one nicely executed opening the Tai Chi from Shushilin 
means that she will take first place and the sword. Kami King will have to settle for second. What a turnaround. Very nicely done. Very exciting Mount Hua this month. I'm glad to see the joint finger not dominating everything. Maybe it's time that things are starting to turn around and that skill will no longer be considered OP. Or maybe not. Who knows? Anyways, so we are looking forward to next month's Mount Hua, which should be coming up very soon. We got a lot of fights from this one. So we should be carrying over right until we are ready for next month's Mount Hua. Anyways, I hope you join us for that. And I want to say thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing. Bye bye.